Hello friends, this is Jalpesh here and welcome again to my channel Code with Jay. In this video, I am going to show some tips regarding Visual Studio to make it perform very fast. So if you are tired of getting your Visual Studio very slow, then this is the video for you. I will show you some of the tips uh, which will help you increase the performance of Visual Studio. So without wasting time, let's directly jump into the Visual Studio itself. So I have got Visual Studio open here and this is the uh, minimal api app uh, that comes with uh, visual studio 2022 and uh, .NET 6 okay so let's uh, directly jump into the tip number one so first tips is like uh, go to tools options right and here you can see the environment and go to general here you can see like it is showing the automatically adjust view studio experience based on the client performance right so uh, this is one of the major performance killer so what you need to do is you need to uncheck this and this but make sure to check this because like it is allowing us to make the hardware graphics acceleration usage so that is very important now you can see like there are some code lens is there right here you can see one reference is there, uh, there. So if you click on this like it will show you a little window to see where the particular weather forecast is used right but like if you have this kind of code lens is enabled for everywhere then and if you have got very big project like then like there will be a problem because like it will take lots of memory for the visual studio and that is going to be a big big problem so what we are going to do is uncheck the code lens lenses and we are, we are going to remove the code lenses so let's see how we can do that so go to tools options and search for code lenses here right and here under the text editor all languages code lenses are uh, disabled that code lenses so click on that and boom you are seeing that it is gone right then there is one more thing that i wanted to show you so here you can see like uh, right now if i go to here like it is showing me the active item items here and if i go to here like it is again showing the active items in the solution explorer like this is a nice functionality but like it is one of the major performance killer so if you don't need this then do uh, disable that so that is under tools option and you need to go to project and solution here you can see the track active item in the solution explorer so you can uncheck that and click on ok and now you can see right now we are in the program.cs if i click on that here till it is showing the program.cs but from here like you can uh, click on this sync with active document and it will show you that same thing this is only uh, going to affect when you need it so instead of enabling the track active item item in the visual studio you need to like disable that thing. so that was the tip number three now tip number four is going to make your Visual Studio experience more smoother. So let me run this app. So here you can see now it's running that particular app, and in the output you can see it is loading the all the symbols and everything, and it is loaded our app now. So here you can see my API is there, right? This is a minimal API app there. Now here you go if you go to the diagnostic uh, tools here you can see some of the memory graph and everything like how much CPU is being used but this we require only when we need to do some performance optimization of our code otherwise we don't need and like this is one of the major performance killer I believe it is like causing like 20% of performance due to this because what happens is like uh, it is going to take some sample every minute so th that is the problem so let's see how we can dispel that so again we can go to tools options right and then go to debugging and here uh, we need to go to yeah enable diagnostic tools while debugging so we need to disable this thing and now if you click on ok now if you go go to see here here you can see like now the performance is going to be much faster compared to the earlier one see it is loaded now and here also like if you see the diagnostic tool it is disabled and it is not taking any samples there so this is the fourth tip right and the fifth tip is not related to visual studio but like it is related to your antivirus settings so what you need to do is like if you can select the windows security app so go to windows security app now go to uh, virus and uh, security protection right and here you can see virus and threat 
protection settings go to manage that setting and here you can see the exclusion right so what happens is like uh, if you have some antivirus in your system then then like that when you run the visual studio like at that time uh, that antivirus will also be running and scanning those files and that may cause the deadlock and it is one of the best performance killer for your application that's why what we need to do is like we need to add some exclusions so here if you click on the add exclusions here you can see i have already excluded some of the folders so mostly i have excluded the dotnet folder uh, then sql server uh, then um, in program files i have some visual studio folders then microsoft.net ms build right and here you can see like uh, this is related to npm so there are a couple of uh, steps related to app data folder so that also you can do that then your folder for the project i have excluded all this thing so don't worry about this list i am going to put that in my uh, like video description so that is not going to be a problem for you guys so what will happen when you do exclusion like if you do exclusion at that time your project folder and uh, all other folders that you mention in your your application will not be scanned by the antivirus and that way like you your uh, system like when you run or debug your application at that time it won't uh, give you that deadlock kind of a situation where at the same time visual studio is accessing the things and uh, at the same time your antivirus is scanning those things so i i have demonstrated this you <laughs> exclusion adding windows security app or the microsoft essential security protection but like you can find out the settings for your antivirus to make uh, exclusion and you can add those folders so i hope that you like this video and if you like this video then please do subscribe to my channel that is called code with chevy and i hope to see you in the next video thank you for watching